Hi guys, this is Cindy with Puffs and Crochet, and we are here today for pod number 21. And you just saw me a little while ago because I'm still taping. I already taped my first, my 20th one. Now I'm on 21. So, we're going to get down to it. I'm going to tell you some things too, in case you didn't watch the other one. Yarn Nut does have a sale, buy one, get one free. Check that out. I am not affiliated with them at all. I just like them. Um, now we are going to draw for 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 on the 23rd. I'm also doing a redraw for number 14 because 14 became an international winner. So the prize is still here and it needs a home. Okay, then I don't have a number 13 winner. Why well, I have a winner, they haven't contacted me. So if you did contact me, you sent it to the wrong email because I've checked everything, it is not there. There is no number 13. And that is Donna's, that is Donna's giveaway. So make sure if you are number 13 winner, contact me to get your prize. Okay, what else? Um, All right, let's get over the boring stuff first. All right, this is a this is all of these podiversaries from one to thirty, except if they're sponsored by another channel, is only offered for by me and Robert. YouTube has no affiliation with this whatsoever. Make sure you follow the YouTube guidelines, and eighteen years or older, and in the forty-eight continuous states. Okay, if you are not in the continuous states, we will do something else. So, this way everybody can have some fun. Okay, and I do check. So, please make sure that you are subscribed. To be part of our Pups and Crochet family. That would be awesome. Give me the thummies and like and subscribe and leave a comment and I will tell you what to do. All right, so now this one is another crafters giveaway because people really seem to have liked that one. So I'm going to put this on here. And this, some of this stuff was from my first yarn haul from Hobby Lobby and you know, I'm not going to pull the stickers off because it ruins everything, but it's what it is. Um, and I was so excited about getting it. I was so excited. Some of it's not, some of it is, whatever. Um, and I've been getting comments asking me because I had mentioned, you know, I did my Yarny song when we were doing the, the, the um, 20 song challenge. We got tagged by uh, Crafty Kitty and her husband, Brian. So we tagged about four or five people, I think. So I'm waiting for all of them to get theirs up. And if it was why my phone and internet and everything was down, then I'll have to check again because I've been trying to catch up on everything. So I'm far behind. Really, really far behind, really. But I'm catching up. I'm getting there. As I do all the comments and everything on my phone, so I'm like scrolling, scrolling, checking emails, doing this, doing that. Then by the time I'm done taping all these videos, my phone has to be charged again because I've run it out. Because I talk too much. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, all right, and congratulations to all the semi-finalists in the Christmas July Fairies. I forgot to say that before. I also forgot to say in my last video, remember, adopt, don't shop. I forgot to do that. So that is for pod number 20, because I forgot to put that on there and say it. I don't know why. I say that every day, because I truly believe that. That is one thing I truly believe. So, oh. I know where I was going with that. So anyway, so we were doing the 20 song challenge and then um, 
we had got a eye saying because we couldn't you know say anything because of copyrights and you know all that jazz can't put it on your channel because it's copyrighted but I sang my Yarny song I made up and I was telling you about my mama she fought three rounds of colon cancer the third one took her down but that was that was done but in her second round you know she was getting so sick all the time we had a private room so me and her would sit there and she liked writing really, really old country. And I'm more of like the 80 country, 70s and 80s country. My mom's like in the 50s country. But I love oldies. I love the older countries, Conway Twitty, Loretta Lynn, all that. She likes the, the ones that are really really old and you know some of them I like some of them mm, some of them were just too slow for me but she liked it so we sat there and we wrote it you know we were I was humming you know I was humming and thinking about something trying to keep her busy and I was just humming and then I started putting words to it she started putting words to it so this is my song from me and Mama that we wrote in her chemo room in 2012. That was her second round, 2013. It came back and she died on in January 2014. So this, I enjoy it. I am not the best singer, no. But I think it's a good song, and I'm going to sing it to you because people have been emailing me asking me why I haven't sung it to them. So I'm going to sing it to you. And this is an original, Four Pups and Crochet Channel. This is written by me and my mama. Okay? All right. Let me get a drink, and I'm going to do it for you. All right. Now, like I said, we're not professionals. I'm not a professional singer. I just like singing. Hmm. If it doesn't sound good, don't listen. <laughs> it's your choice. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We met on a night like this. The stars were bright. When we first kissed and as we danced to the beat of our hearts we swore that we never part i wanna know i wanna know do you love me for real i wanna know what your heart really feels i wanna know if you'll be there for me until the day when we both say goodbye it's been five years since we said i do our lives have changed and our family grew, and as we watch while the kids run and play, I turn to you and say, I want to know, I want to know, do you love me for real? I want to know what your heart really feels. I want to know if you'll be there for me until the day when we both say goodbye. The times have changed. It's just me and you, the kids are grown with family too. And as we walk while the sun goes down, I said to you one last time, I want to know, I want to know, do you love me for real? I want to know what your heart really feels, I want to know. If you'll be there for me until the day when we both say goodbye, I want to know, I want to know. There we go, babies. That is a song for me and my mama. And I love it. And I sing it to my puppies every night. And Monkey loves it. And Peanut loves it. Peanut loves any song, but Monkey really likes that one. All right, so... Let's get on with our pod number 21. I don't want to get teared up. 
Okay, so for pad number 21, it is a crafter's basket. Okay, at a crafter's. So we have got this gold ribbon and this pink glittery ribbon. And these were, they do have orange stickers on them because they were from the Hobby Lobby gift sale. The sale that I went to for my first year. I was so excited my first sale. And I got some wasabi tape. It says quarantine and chill. And then it's got one with little face masks on it. I don't know exactly what they do with this wasabi tape. But I see a lot of crafters that always talk about this stuff. So you get two rolls of that. Okay, then we get 125 pieces of these googly eyes. They're wiggle eyes. They're in all different colors. You got big eyes, little eyes. You got red, blue, green, uh, purple, pink, yellow. My favorite color, yellow. All these googly eyes you get in your bag. You will get a little pouch. <laughs> You will get a pack of styrofoam balls that they put in these little shaker cards. I never got one and I never, I just seen them show them. And they, I think they put these in there, these little shaker balls. But they're for shaker cards, I think is what they said. This one is not broken. So for all the rest of the giveaways, if you get some styrofoam balls, they are free for you. Because the other bag busted. And I can't get rid of them. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Just when you think they're gone, they're not. They're back. Okay, and you will get this crafting adhesive cutting mat. I guess it's a um, mat for cutting out the little wasabi tapes or whatever. But that's a little mat. Okay, then you will get this pack of 14 piece beautiful flowers which I think they're folly so they're really perfect because we want summer over with we want the fall yes you will also get this pack of little wooden gems they got dragonflies two things of dragonflies and then a little is that a bee might be a bee to the dragonflies, dragonflies, and I think that's a bee. Okay, then you will get a pack of glitter with free star foam balls. Yes. <laughs> and it's folly glitter. And you get how many? Six packs of these beautiful. You get this copper. Right here, copper. Then you get like this mustardy gold. You get this light orange. Then you get a dark orange. And then you get into this dark, rusty, brownish red glitter. And they are glitter and they're shiny. Okay. Beautiful. And you will get a hook with the star of bomb. <laughs> you will get a hook. All right, and then what you will also get to go with the hook, you will get one red, one blue, one green, and one brownish mustard color. Okay, now these are by Premier. These are Premier Just Learn Yarn Plush, squishy soft. They are 100% polyester, 106 yards, 97 meters, 1.76 ounces, or 50 grams. <laughs> but you will get these. You will get all four of these. Christmassy, folly, you know. Like, this could be more Christmassy. This could be folly. Or you could switch them around. Or you could put them all together. Or you could just sew them together and make big pom-poms. woo all right, so that is what's going in your bag. 
I will not tell you if there will be something extra or not besides the styrofoam balls. So that is pod number 21. So if you want to enter to win this, leave me a comment down below. Give me a thummies. And I don't, don't put just one letter that drives me nuts. And don't do a picture either. Just write a comment. Don't copy and paste. Just write a comment. Something nice. Something that you would want said to you. I don't know. And then we will draw on the 23rd. So I will let you go because I'm going to go on to my next video. And remember, adopt, don't shop. There are just too many babies out there looking for a home. And why pay that money when you can save too? Why go and pay a thousand dollars for a, a dog, a puppy, when you could go rescue one, take that one home with you for maybe just the cost of it being spayed or neutered, and then open a space for another one. So you would be saving two and saving yourself. So that's three. <laughs> so please remember that. I love you guys. We thank you for everything. And this is for all our beautiful Pups and Crochet family from the ones that have been with us from the beginning until the ones that have just found us. We thank you. This is for our second anniversary. We have been on here two years, and this is a thank you to you for that. So, I will let you go. I will be back with the next video, and I will see you then. Bye, guys.